friends, welcome back. Last year we did this thing, uh, top 20 of 2020. Today we're being a little, a little quirky. Yep. Top 21 of 2021. Trying say, this to. Is a, this is a very highly anticipated video. It is. We have gotten so many comments it is. asking us where this video is. Yeah. Just so y'all know, it was nearly impossible getting this list together. It was such a good year of music. It was significantly harder this year it than was. 2020. I don't remember having this hard of a time ranking songs and kicking mm -hmm. songs out in 2020, but the, I was sitting here today on my bed for literally 45 minutes stressing myself out, yeah. going, oh my god, what am I going to choose? I was like sweating and I was like, is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? Just so you know, I'll probably put like a Spotify playlist of all of the songs. So mm, fun. If, there, yeah, if there aren't any songs that you have heard, you can go and peek also, because all of these songs are fire. I know that's for Also, fire. last year, everyone under our video commented their top songs. Yes. So y'all should do that again Yes. because we like seeing what everyone else's top songs were too. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of doing the same format that we did last year. So we do top 21 of 2021, which are any song that was either a title track with a music video or a song that had a music video or performance video, an official performance video. Yes. And then we also have one more list, which is the top 10 honorable mentions, which are basically the top 10 B-sides. Let me just say- A lot harder. No, no, that one, I wanted to <laughs> literally like bang my head against the wall because y'all, first of all, most of the time B-sides are better than the title yeah. track. And second of all, there's so many more B-sides <laughs> than there are title tracks. It was so hard. I literally kicked out like six or seven songs on that list. It was awful. Also, we don't know each other's lists, mm -mm. so we did the same thing last year. We never we never told each other our list, and we did it again this year. This will be a surprise to you and a surprise to us. Yeah, I think my list will actually be very surprising to Sana. Oh, okay. But I don't know if mine will be that surprising to you, but maybe. Maybe the order will be surprising to you. Yeah. I don't think the songs will, because most of these yeah. songs you would assume I would put on here, but okay. I don't. The order might surprise you. Okay. Okay, well you go first, because now I'm scared. So, starting off, 21 is Teardrop by SF9. I only know this because she thought she might have to kick it out. Yeah, and I was sad because I didn't want to kick it out. But yeah, that song, so good. Probably my favorite title track of theirs in such a long time. Like post RPM? Yes. My 21 is Libido by Only One Of. I will say, Ooh. it used to be a lot higher and it went down lower, mainly because I didn't listen to it as much throughout the rest of the year mm -hmm. when all these other songs came out. But when it did initially come out, it was shocking. Our video, our reaction video. Yeah, um, the song was shocking, the lyrics were shocking, the music video was shocking, the choreography, and um, it just was really, really good. Mm -hmm. So it had to be on here. Uh, number 20, Flip a Coin by oh. Nickton. Oh, thank you. Flip a Coin not being a title track, but they gave a video to Flip a Coin. Thank, thank God. You. And that video was amazing. I love that it was super, it was super like subtle, low key, but like the outfits and outfits. the choreo and just the song in general. Yes. One of their best, honestly. Mine is, Number 20 is Teardrop by SF9. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't really need to say much more. You've already basically said it. Such a good title track. Yeah. The outfits that they wore during the comeback stages. Mm -hmm. My god. They haven't worn outfits like that in a very, very long time. Choreo, again, oh my god. The second you hear that song, you will be singing that Yes. For the rest. So catchy. It, literally, all day. For 19, I have Mixtape O by Stray Kids. Okay. That got kicked out of mine. Oh, that's so dark. It was like 23 on mine, I think. Ugh. That was Hyunjin's like comeback. Not official, but like he was included in the video after his hiatus and that was... I, I consider it the official because for us it was the official. Comeback. Yeah. Such a beautiful song. So different from what they usually do. The fact that he was in it just made me love it even more. And it's just such a pretty song. My favorite mixtape of theirs is Mixtape 4, but it gave Mixtape 4 a run for its money when that's it came so out. That's so valid. Yeah. 19 is Cinema by Six. Oh my god. Or CIX if you call them by their government name. If you song. are a fan of Six or if you know of Six's music, then you would know that generally up until they released Cinema, they had a very dark concept. Like it was always dark song, dark video, mm -hmm. especially when it got to Jungle. They were like in Inferno Hell, you know? Yeah. And then Cinema was like the complete and total opposite. It was so bright. It was so pretty. It was and they so did like, it perfectly. Yes. We have discussed before that we don't like a concept that is super cute and a song that is super cute because mm -hmm. then it's like too much for us. This was such a perfect balance of the video is so cute and so pretty but the song is just so catchy and mm -hmm. just such a feel-good song to listen to and it, it, it just blew my mind how so how much they were able to like transition their theme yeah and go from such a dark concept to like such a bright and pretty concept. Yes. 18. Lullaby by Woods. <sighs> When I first heard Lullaby, I thought I was astral projecting. <laughs> I swear that man's music is on another planet good. Yeah, he's the best solo artist in K-pop. It's actually not even up for debate. Like, no, it's, it's not. It's, it's literally not for debate. He is the best solo artist in K-pop. It's a very, very chill 
I don't even call it a music video. He, it's just a, a it's video. It's just like a performance video, I think, isn't it? It was a part of um, his little documentary. The documentary. Yeah. And such a good song. Yeah. He's such an incredible artist. Well, it's funny you say that because my 18 is Feel Like by Woods. Oh my god, <laughs> that song makes yeah. me feel things. Um, if I honestly, I won't even say anything. Just go watch our reaction. It's if, so true. If you want to see what we think of Feel Like by mm -hmm. Woods, just go watch our music video reaction Thank and you god. will see it all. Number 17. Sona will not agree with me. Oh no. But it's okay. Cheese by Stray Kids. <laughs> okay. We have very differing opinions for cheese. Yeah, very. Totally fine. Music is subjective. Exactly. Cheese, I thought was so just like silly and I did not expect to like it. Like when I first heard it, I was like, this is really weird. And I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. But I stayed I'm like, in that. You did. <laughs> I gave it a chance though. And I heavily enjoy that song. I think it's very fun. I think it's clever. I love the meaning behind the song. I do like yeah. the meaning behind the song. Yeah. It's I good. just can't. I can't. I, it happens. I can't. It happens. Good for you, honestly. You're the lucky one in this situation that you guys <laughs> will like it. Deja Vu by ATs. Okay. They had the pole up, and we were shooters for Deja Vu. Mm -hmm. And let me just say, uh, three times running, we have been right, and yeah. we have always chosen the winning song. And we will continue every, to be right. every time we've chosen the winning song, that song has gone on to Ghana win. Yeah, that's so, so true. Yeah. That's um, so true. I love the sound of Deja Vu, mm -hmm. I love the concept of Deja Vu, I love mm -hmm. the outfits of Deja Vu, mm -hmm. and also Deja Vu was like the first official thing where Mingi was like back. So yeah. that also... Emotional value. Yes. Alright, 16. Paranoia. Okay. Tom Daniel. I'll be honest, in the beginning of the year when this came out, I was like, yo, this song is number one, it'll stay number one. We even said to each other, like our group of friends, we were like, objectively, Paranoia is the best song of this year. Technically, that could still stand. That song is incredible yeah the production oh my god i love the whole like kind of horror theme behind it and mm -hmm. how he portrayed paranoia so perfectly in the music video i love how it was so cohesive with the name and he is another incredible solo artist 16 is waiting by woods oh. this man <laughs> has a grip on no me. no he's all over this like i'm not <laughs> so, done no, yet say, me too yeah me too uh-huh and once again the best solo artist in k-pop he never makes bad music his title tracks are always so different than the other and yeah. yet he kills every single one of them if you haven't heard woods music like i would highly highly suggest it mm. obviously you can tell we are fans because he's all over both of our lists yeah speaking of woods <laughs> okay <laughs> feel like by woods so i don't need to say too much i'll just reiterate everything someone said about feel like and also just watch our video just go watch our reaction to almost every wood song we are mentioning yeah 15 is run by luminous Ooh. So if you don't know who Luminous is, they debuted, I was about to say this year, I forgot what last year it was. <laughs> they debuted last year in 2021. I went into it not expecting this banger of a song. So good. I remember you were obsessed. And, oh my god, you were yeah. obsessed. We sat here, listened to, like watched the video, listened to it the first time, and I was like, oh my god, oh mm -hmm. my god, oh my god. Our friend Alex is like a huge Luminous fan, mm -hmm. so I texted her and I was like, this song, bro, this song. <laughs> I literally... From the day it came out, have not stopped listening to it until today. Go listen to it, y'all. It's so good. 14. I have Scars by Stray Kids. Okay. Their Japanese release. Okay. Oh my god, I have a Japanese release mm -hmm. on here too. Honestly, I think that music video may be one of my favorite of theirs ever. Mm. And I love the dance break, the three racha, not three racha, hello. Dance racha, dance break. Everything about that song, it's so beautiful. It gives it me very, very much like Levanter energy, just kind of that same vibe. Love it. 14 is Love Song by TXT. Ooh. TXT, obviously, in the past year has very much transitioned their sound and their image, and yeah. it started with Love Song. Love Song was just such a shock. The video and the song itself was so different than anything they or anyone in K-pop at yeah. that point had done, and now people are following in their footsteps. Mm -hmm. Have y'all noticed how many more rock title mm -hmm. track releases have came out? It really, like, did a little revolution last year with that. Mm -hmm. Look at the little kings go. <laughs> and um, generally, I'm not a fan of, like, rock. But the way that they were able to, like, infuse rock and pop and make it kind of like their own little mini genre, mm -hmm. it just, yeah, it's so good. I heavily agree. Yeah. 13, I have Cinema by Six. Ah, amazing. Cinema was another song that came out early early on in it 2021 was like february very January, early february and i had cinema in like my top for so long cinema is also one of those songs where you listen to it once and for the rest of the day you're like cinema 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 so true <laughs> everything someone said about cinema i agree i was just shocked that they pulled off a concept like that it was so good i listened to it 
all the time. I still listen to it to this day. It's such a good, feel-good song. Yeah. 13 is Trauma by SF9. Ah, there it is. I listened to Trauma the first time I reacted to it, not expecting that I would like it more than Teardrop. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, I heard that chorus, and y'all know how I feel about sounds and choruses, and they had that one sound in the chorus, and I was like, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Number 12, Libido. The okay. only one of. I'm glad you had it higher up, because I oh, felt yeah. bad that it was so... Ah. It happens. The shock value that came with that whole entire song and video, like everything Sona said. I love that song too for them because it made them... Oh yeah, it like gave them their like... Some, um, it gave them some oomph. Yes. You know? it, it, uh, before that, like most people had never heard of Only yeah. One Of. And then the libido was everywhere. It gave... It had like it a was couple of things. It was viral on YouTube, viral on TikTok, TikTok, viral on Twitter. It was everywhere. Oh, uh, we were like so happy for them. We were yeah. like, we knew them before. <laughs> Love that song. Twelve is Don't Call Me by Shiny. Okay. I sh actually figured that would be in there for you. Yeah. I have loved Shiny for five years running now. I literally had been waiting so long for them to come back and group together after they all finished their military service. We waited for like over two years for the older members to come back. When they dropped Don't Call Me, the shock that I experienced, because that is the last type of song I was saying. I never expected that kind of a song from them. Same. And I have never heard that kind of a song ever. And so I was like, oh my god. And I have not stopped listening to it ever since. It is such a good song. The video itself is so cool. Their outfits are so cool. Like, it, it was just like, it literally a song that only Shiny could do. It's so true. Alright, number 11. Scared by P1 Harmony. Okay, I knew this was gonna be high. I actually <laughs> thought it would be in the top 10. If you watch our reaction, Adore. If you watch our reaction, be you, would, you wouldn't think that. <laughs> you would be confused if you watch our reaction. I, yeah. we, I will say that. Because on first listen, we were like, hmm. I even remember saying, like, I don't know if I love it or hate it. Yeah. Turns out I love it. I'm I very also obsessed love it. it. I don't love it as much as Kim does. But, but it's it's just so so fun. And when you it hear is. it live, too. Yeah. Us seeing P1 Harmony in person. Yeah. Nah, no. No, everything changed. Everything changed. Yeah. I love that song. It's so fun. It's very different. I've always said that P1 Harmony gives me like very nostalgic 90s vibes. Yes. So they make me feel very happy. Their music videos are so cool. I love what they do with their music videos. So. If y'all haven't seen their movie, oh, oh my god, y'all need to go watch their movie. So good. Number 11 is Fever by Inhibity. Ooh. Or Inhypen. Great choice. Which is funny because they released two title tracks last year. Yes. And I did not put either title track but in Fever. this list, but Fever, and also, Fever a little fun fact for everybody, Fever was the biggest fourth gen boy group song of 2021. Look at them go. If you know, we have liked them since literally episode one of Island, but like to see their progression in two years yeah. is like so exciting. Since birth. So, so since crazy. birth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are in top 10. All right, it is, it is, it is, it is now time. At number 10, I have Butter by BTS. Oh my god, thank you. I was literally like, if she didn't put Butter on the no, list, are you I'm gonna kidding? be so offended. <laughs> butter is a statement of a song. So true. That song, you could play it anytime, any place, anywhere, and I would drop everything and be like, sweet, but Lit. that song, it, I don't know what's in it, crack probably, but it's so, so good. It's so fun. It makes you feel so good. You know what I mean? And you can listen to it whenever. Number 10, Bad Love by Key. Oh, I forgot how much you freaking love, love that song. Y'all, so first good. of all, Key is my bias. When he announced he was making a second album, I was like, oh my god, I cannot wait. Mm. And then when we watched Bad Love, I was literally floored. One, by the music video itself, by the outfits he was wearing, the like concept of the video, and then the song. Y'all, the song literally makes me feel like my soul is transcending out of my body, especially at the end. The high note. The high note mm -hmm. at the end. And it's just the fact that he has a hand in all of like the creative yeah. process. Um, God, I love so, him. Yeah. Number nine. No surprise here, I have Red Lights by Shocking. Stray I'm Kids with am, Chan and Hyunjin. I'm actually surprised it's, l it's lower than I thought it would be. I thought it would be in the top five. <laughs> I don't know, my top five is pretty solid. Okay. Red Lights by Stray Kids, obviously, Chan and Hyunjin. Um, what? That song, I didn't know, I didn't know what to really do or say or how to react. Y'all, we waited so long to listen to that song. It was not okay. They released their album and then they said, don't worry, the videos are coming for the unit songs. And then we were just like, okay, well, where are they? Very pleasantly surprised it was worth the wait. Uh, you it was worth reaction. the wait. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Never done a concept like that before. And you know, Hyunjin is my ult, so that was just very insane. Number nine is What I Said by Victor. This song came out January of last year, so it has been a full- Damn, it's high up there! Yeah. She stuck around. Yeah. That whole album, it was their first full album ever, and they, debu they debuted in 2016, mm -hmm. which is 
I won't even get into that. I'll yeah. start crying. But <laughs> you all know, Victon is my third old group. So they mean a lot to me. And me listening to that album, it was just so... I was like, finally. Like, finally, rewarded. yes. Yeah. And like, what I said went pretty viral. Especially mm -hmm. the part with Sejun where he's like staring at the camera with his blue contact. <laughs> so I was like, so happy that they were finally getting like, real recognition. The song is still... A year later, it's so a weird. top 10 banger. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Iconic. Number eight, I have Frost by TXT. No way, you have Frost 8 too? <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh my god. Well, we can just talk about Frost together. And okay, love it. that's weird. That is kind of crazy. We didn't think Frost would ever have a video, and then. No, we didn't. Literally, we, almost toward the end of the year, they were like, surprise. We gave up hope. We did. I we, we literally were like, it's staying in our Because they announced mentions. their comeback for Loser Lover, and we were like, okay, it's Frost over. is gone. Um, but no. Frost is the best song they've ever made. Talking about like their rock side, that song, the shock value to that song. Just a song, like no, nothing else, no performance. Yeah. No, it is the most shocking song I think yeah. we have heard in years. Yeah, and TXT is like probably the only group that could pull off a song like that. Yeah, weird that we both have it at number eight. I know. Okay. okay, love it. Number seven, I have Thunderous by Stray Kids. Okay, I'm surprised Thunderous is higher than Red Lights. I wasn't expecting that. Here's the thing, they've obviously performed Thunderous a bunch since it came out, and every time I watch or hear it, you like it more. I like it more. Yeah, that makes and sense. And that's how I know that I really like a song, when I don't get sick of it when they perform it a lot, but I end up liking it more. Mm -hmm. It's very fun. I love that that was their comeback after so long. They had, they waited so long for a comeback. I just love how experimental they are. I love how they don't really care what people think. They just do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. I love it. I respect it. The song's great. Every stage of Thunderous I love, and that song is just so fun. I cannot wait to hear it live hopefully one day so my number seven is one that I don't think most people will have heard of so maybe I will put you all on to a new song okay it is close your eyes by the BZ boys oh I've heard that because of you because honestly. of me I don't really know much about them as a group I heard it once I think our friend Alex that I mentioned earlier was over at our house and I cannot remember if she put it on or if we were watching like one of those streams where it's just mm. like a music bank performance yeah, yeah, yeah. and they came on. One listen to that song, I was like, oh, Alex. Oh, Ale I was like, Alex, what is this song? Because our friend Alex is like the K-pop dictionary. Like she knows yes. everyone and everything. Yes. I can't even say anything about it. It's such a beautiful song. It's, it's awesome. so it's catchy. Like I'm it. telling you. Damn. I'm telling you, this song blazed <laughs> past everybody. Okay, number six, Waiting by Woods. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the video was a little depressing, but the song itself is so good. Uh, we could go on and on about Woods, but we sound like a broken record at this point. Yeah, we do. But yeah, and we're not done yet. Nope. I still have a couple times to mention it. <laughs> uh, there's really not much more you can say at this point. Yeah. Number six is Any Other Way by Eric Nam. <gasps> Amazing choice. Um, first of all, his actual full album. With so good with song yeah, today oh, in the car. It's so good. That man's never made a bad song in his mm. life. This song specifically, well, the first time I heard it, that chorus where he goes, ah, God, it's it, so good. It literally feels like I'm just floating in heaven when yeah. I listen to that song. Mm. It's so beautiful, and his <sighs> voice is so beautiful. I love him. I will be seeing him in concert in like 20 days. I'm so excited. That's <laughs> so exciting. We are entering the top five. Now well, let's go. At number five, I have. The View by Stray Kids. That song is probably my favorite on the album. It is also my favorite on that album. It's so pretty, so easy to listen to. The bridge part of the song is so like uplifting. I love the line distribution in that song. I love the video for that song. It's so cute and fun. And they don't they don't have very many songs like that. So when they make songs like that, I really, really appreciate it's them. It's a very feel-good song. Yes. Yeah. Well, number five, the man of the hour <laughs> is Kiss of Fire by Woods. So, that song. Um, little fun story. I did not listen to this song for I think maybe three months. Yeah, too long. Because and I would get mad. Because Woods had announced that it was originally going to be another title track, so mm -hmm. I was expecting a video to come out within like a month. I wanted my first reaction to the song to be with the video, right. but then it never came out, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, I don't want to listen to the song and potentially not have it in my top list right. if I think it's worth it. It's worth it. This is my second favorite song he's ever made. And number four, I Don't Know You Anymore by Eric Nam. Look at us. That song, Look at us. when I first heard it, I was like, immediately I was like, this is my favorite song by Eric. I, I remember you saying you sending it to us. Oh my like, god. I was just in shock. I was like, this song is so, so amazing. He's so talented. His voice is just so, it's so distinct and so pretty. That song spoke to me. I loved it. I love when I can relate to songs too. It makes me feel things. I love it. I love that song. Number four is a Japanese release, which is Dreamers by A.T. Ah, that's right, that's right. Um, I listened to the song by myself in my room, and 
the, the shock on my face when it got to the chorus. It's literally my second favorite song that ATs have made in mm. the past year. I could listen to that song on loop every single day of my life and I would never get sick of it. Oh, so fair. All right, top three. Let's go. I'm ready. All right, at number three, I have Love Song by TXT. Wow! <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think I was expecting it to be that high. Yeah. Okay. Like wow. you said, it was like their transition into their little rock face, that little emo face. Loved it. This is even more shocking because at first she liked Frost more than Love yeah, Song. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on, but I find myself listening to Love Song more than Frost, so. Okay. Everything that Sona said about Love Song is exactly how I feel. That genre is perfect for them. It's literally it is. their genre it now. It is. That song has a grip on me. It's so good. You and all of K-pop. <laughs> that is fair. Number three is Flip a Coin by Victim. Holy balls. That's high. It is high and it came out in January of last year and that's how good it is. Two of my all-time favorite songs by Victim are uh, Nostalgic Night and Mayday. Nostalgic Night is my favorite and then it's Mayday. And Flip a Coin gave Mayday a run for its money. That is so crazy. And I still am like, like I can't pick which one I like more. It like depends on the day. Coin. <laughs> yeah, y'all, go watch it. Go mm. listen to it. it mm. It's so good. Okay, runner up. Two, my runner up is Kiss of Fire by Woods. <laughs> I accidentally heard that song. Um, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't mean to listen to it, but um, when I was listening to the album, I didn't know that Kiss of Fire was the other title, so I listened to it. And I didn't know what to do. Uh, that's my favorite song that he has ever touched. I think it's absolutely flawless. The lyrics, he is a menace to society in the best way. Absolutely love him. He obliterated my list. He really <laughs> took over 2021, in my opinion. Your runner up. My runner up will come as an absolute shock to no one on earth. It is Burn It by Golden Child. Oh, yeah. If you watched our reaction, you would know. Mm. If you know me in real life, you would know. Yeah. This song literally changed my whole world. Our first initial reaction to it, I literally looked at Kim and I was like, oh, th 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 like this is game it. over. And I literally thought that no other song would top this song because that's how much I liked it. I was mm -hmm. like, nothing is going to top this. Nothing is going to top this. And then my number one song came in. And right. Yeah. Yeah. But this, like, it just, every, everything in this song is made for me. And the video. It's true. It just, it's <laughs> mwah. My number one. I'm, yeah. And I'm very, I'm very intrigued because I thought Kiss of Fire would be your number one. <laughs> Rock With You by Seventeen. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I know. Rock With You by Seventeen. Oh my is... god, it passed Kiss of Fire? Yeah. I... What? I listen to that song probably every day. I was so shocked. It's my favorite title track of theirs ever. Oh and my god. I know. I am so obsessed with that song. If I could pick a perfect song in K-pop, it would be Rock With You. Oh my god. It has everything that I like. Yo, I've, I've actually, like, I, you've surprised me a couple times, but I'm actually shocked by this one. <laughs> <laughs> it has everything that I like in a song, and I am literally just as shocked. I can't believe that this song is my number one, but I... I love it. I, I really don't have any other words. I think it's a perfect song. Wow. Oh my god, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> mine's not shocking at all because it's Butter I know, you're yeah. <laughs> Everyone bow down to the queen over there, Butter. When they initially released the teaser, I was like, this is going to be fun. This is going to be like Dynamite. It's going to be like a little fun pop song. Never in my life did I think that this song would take over me the way that it did. It is my favorite pop title track they've ever made. It, this The first time I heard it, I was like, this song could literally... I could wake up, it could play, I could go to bed, it could play, I could be in the car, it could exactly. play. It, it, it does not matter. So it is good. just, so good. it is a perfect song. I mean, it literally, like, changed the game of the music industry last year, yep. as everyone knows. Yep. It's nominated for a Grammy, as it should be. It is literally the most perfect song, yep. and it is the best English song they've ever made. I will stand by that till the day I die. I agree. Okay, that was it for the 20th. <sighs> oh, wow. You really threw me for a loop there. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well... On to the um, honorable mentions, which yes. again is any B-sides from any albums that, that don't were, have videos. That do not have a video. Well, you're going to be very happy with my number 10 because it is Reset by P1 Harmony. Oh! The way that we got into P1 Harmony, even though we had watched song. videos of them before, yeah. we had reacted to them before, but yeah. we never really like clicked with them mm -hmm. until one day we were just hanging out and um, we somehow stumbled upon P1 Harmony performing Reset which we had never heard before. And we had never really watched like actual videos of P1 Harmony, like outside of a music video. Yeah. We watched them perform this song and I remember sitting on that couch thinking this song, oh my God. Yeah. And then we binged P1 Harmony for two hours straight. And we that did. And that is how we got into P1 Harmony. <laughs> we did. And they were like, 
It was like two days later we reacted to Scared, so yeah. we were like so excited. Not only um, did this song really get us into them, but I am obsessed with this song. It is Same. so good. Okay, number 10, I have Our Spring by Astro. Oh my god! No. I wasn't expecting that I one. I know. Okay. She's kind of like... Like an underdog. Yeah. She barely made it in there, but she got in there. I can't even, like, I don't even remember you really talking about that song much. No, but I remember you, I think you showed me that song. I did. I, and and I, I said like, how pretty what? it is. I was like, what? This song is so good. And I found myself, like, continuously wanting to hear it and, like, listen to it. And it's so good. It's so pretty. Astro really makes such pretty, pretty songs. Music. So, I love that song. If you haven't heard that song, I highly suggest it, obviously. They I make suggest songs, these, but they make songs that match in whose face. It's exactly. very pretty. That is exactly a perfect word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine is Bad Dream by Six. Ooh, what I, a good choice. I think that that is the best song on that album. Uh, Six has literally never made a bad song in their life. Facts. But Bad Dream specifically, it's just, oh, it, I wish it had a video. And I wish more people could hear it because it's such a good song. <laughs> Great choice. At number nine, I have... Heaven by 86. Okay, that, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember telling everyone that I know, I was like, y'all need to listen to this yeah. song. It is so beautiful. It made me, uh, like when I Did first listened to it, it made me cry. Yeah. Wung is my bias in 86. He wrote that song. The bridge to that song specifically makes me feel just like very overwhelmed with emotions. And I love when songs do that to me because it's not very often that that can happen. Mm. But I have a couple in here that really... Like, they make you kind of just have that feeling. Mm. I love when songs do that. Me too. My number eight is The Realist by ONF. I've I know how much you love that song. I've never in my life heard a song that sounds like this song. I was so, like, taken aback the first time I heard it. I was going to listen to every song in order, and then I had to stop and replay this song the first time I heard it, because I was like, what was that? It's just, I'm. it's so different than anything I've ever heard. Yeah. It literally makes me feel like when I'm listening to it, I'm like floating through space. <laughs> like I can't even describe, I can't even describe what genre the song is. Like you just have to go listen to it to like understand what I mean. What was it number eight? Yeah. Breathing by Wee Eye. Oh, the, please tell the story of this song, because the story of this song boosts my ego, personally. Someone just showed me this song, and at first I was like, mm, it's alright. Then I would listen to it on my own time and be like, shit, someone was right. No, but <laughs> how did I show you this song? I, I sent y'all a voice note screaming. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's so And I so remember good. Kim being like, that's okay. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then literally, like, six months later, out of nowhere, she texted me and she was like, Sona. Sona, you were right. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Everything about that song. Yeah, it's so good. Number seven. Once again, he pops up every other and mention. Here he comes. Is Thinking About You by Woods. What a choice. Yes, so um, before I heard Kiss the Fire, because like I said, I avoided listening to it for a few months. Thinking About You was my favorite on the album. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this song, this is it. Oh my yeah. god, this is the song. Yeah. Then I heard Kiss the Fire, and I was like, Jesus, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Thinking About You is just, it, it's just a perfect song. Just like Woods is a perfect artist. Yes. We've talked about him more than enough already. Oh, I don't yeah. think we're done talking about him, because Kim will probably mention yeah. him too. Maybe. Again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Number seven, I have Heaven's Cloud by 17. 17 is really making it. Did you have any 17 last year? I don't think I did. I don't did. think you did. Look at them go. Heaven's Cloud is another song that it like kind of makes you emotional. It does. Also very catchy. Very catchy tune. That chorus will really get you. Yes. That little EP or album that this song is on is mm -hmm. really good. But yeah, that whole album just like pleasantly surprised me. That song stuck out to me. I love it. It's so... I don't want to say emotional, but it's just very pretty and it's just like easy to listen to. And I love it. It's not emotional, but it's like so pretty that you almost feel like... You just feel like calm. Yeah. Like, it's just so nice. Number six is Dear Sputnik by TXT. Ah. First of all, if you know the song by Pentagon, Basket, Basket, and you listen to Dear Sputnik, the beginning sounds exactly the same. So already the first time we heard the song, it was like, whoa. Yeah. And then the actual song, just the title itself already, I was like, this is a very yeah. interesting yeah. title. The song is so good. For me, when we first reacted to the songs, it gave Frost a run for its money. Because mm -hmm. I, at first, could not decide which one I liked more, and then I, I remember. realized I like Frost more. But Dear mm -hmm. Sputnik is absolutely number two on that album, and it is just so good. Number six, I have Sissick by Stray Kids. Sissick! Sissick! 
Sick was my, uh, after first listen, it was my favorite B-side, I think, or favorite on the album. I don't remember what I said. It was your favorite, I think, from what I remember. Yeah. I love everything that Stray Kids does. Obviously, I say it all the time, but that song is so fun. It's very true to them. I think that they will probably never disappoint me, if I'm being so honest with you, so. Well, we already discussed this song, but at number five is Breathing by We I. Oh, okay, we both had it in there. Of course. Okay. I knew from first listen that this song was not moving from my top five. Okay. Like that, that is the visceral physical reaction that I had to this song when I first heard it. It literally blew my mind. I love We Eyes music, but I was not expecting to grip to a song by them mm. the way that I did with this song. Mm. My next one is Reset by P1 Harmony. Nice. Same thing. We were just so shocked. We did not think that we would get into P1 Harmony that night, but we did. Yep. Thanks to Reset, honestly. Yep. Number four, you were actually there when I discovered this song, is Dry Ice by ONF. Oh. I think I had an oh. out of body experience when I. Heard that that song. song is like it describes your favorite things in a song. Yeah, I always go on and on about how much I like weird sounds in songs, and the sound in this song, if I could bottle it up and oh, keep yeah. it with me, I would because it, I can't, I can't, y'all, I can't. Okay, at number four, I have Take Me Home, English version. Okay, we have a lot of the same ones. We do, on our that's list. so crazy. You should go watch a reaction. Yeah. to take me home English version. It's in our album reaction. In another very emotional song. It's kind of indescribable. You can kind of just have to watch our reaction to kind of really grasp how much we loved that song. Yeah. Still love that song. It's one of their best, if not the best song they've ever made. And everything that was just happening at that time period too, it just like came at the perfect time. Yep. Oh, I know it's in Sona's list, so I'll let her go into more detail about it later. But <laughs> Absolutely. <my> yeah. <laughs> Number three is Body Rhythm by Shiny. Oh my god, that song is so fire. <laughs> Y'all, Body Rhythm is my favorite song Shiny have ever made. Wow. When I first heard Body Rhythm, when I first listened to their album, mm. I played Body Rhythm on repeat <laughs> for hours, for days. <laughs> I'm not joking. I literally sat there listening to nothing but Body Rhythm on repeat. <laughs> this whole, uh, everything Shiny did last year is so different than anything they've ever done. Yeah. And they just, they floored me. And I mm. already love Shiny and all of their music. But oh my god, they mm. really last year like kicked some ass. Number three, I have Ay Ya Ya by P1 Harmony. I would expect nothing less of you. I'm Ay almost Ay positive Ay Ay that song is either my first or second favorite ever by them. I, they don't have a very huge discography just yet, but it is like top one or top two. I think I first saw it because of their little preview video and it was Theo and he's my bias. So that just made me like it even more. And then I heard the full song and I was like, this song is so good, so catchy. I wish they would have performed it live. I would have probably passed out, <laughs> but I love it. It's so good. Runner up for my honorable mentions of the year is Believer by SF9. Ah, oh, okay. Makes sense. If you watched Kingdom, which if you didn't honestly spare yourself, but <laughs> if you watched it, then you will know that during the finale episode, SF9 performed Believer and that performance it's in itself was literally like tailored for me. It had like yes. everything I love in one performance. It was like black and white. They were like royalty and contemporary. Oh, I was like, SF9 is literally and four songs. glitter. <laughs> I was like this and titties out. I was like this is literally everything I've ever asked for. <laughs> it is one of my absolute favorite songs SF9 has ever made. I will never ever ever get sick of listening to it. I will never get sick of watching that performance. It is just perfect. My runner up is Domino by Stray Kids. Domino. 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 When that little preview teaser video came out, yeah. and it was yeah. just rap after rap after rap after rap, I didn't know really what to do with myself. And then hearing the full song, they performed it, they never gave us a video for it. Yeah. Fine. I don't know why they do these things. The domino is so fun, it's so upbeat. The choreo for that song is probably my favorite ever of theirs. Oh, okay. It's so just pleasing to the eye. And the song's so fun. I remember like Domino's Pizza on Twitter, like I, their I saw the bio. And they were it's tweeting so about it. It's so silly. Love that song, it's so good. Well, my number one of the year, as we have already mentioned, is <laughs> Take Me Home English Version by ATs. What a song. First of all, I never thought I would like an AT song more than Aurora mm -hmm. because Aurora is like everything to me. And if y'all haven't seen our reaction, the Korean version already made me emotional yeah. without me even reading what the, like understanding what the lyrics for. Just the, the sound of the song itself made me emotional. Mm -hmm. And then when we reacted to the English version and I read those lyrics, 
Bro, it, it took me out. I have never ever gotten emotional like that to an AT song. And usually songs don't make me just like full blown cry. Mm. Like it's very rare for a song to make me full blown cry. I think I've only cried on our channel three times in like three years. Mm. Every time I listen to it, it makes me emotional. It is the most beautiful song they've ever made. It is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my life. It, I cannot speak enough about it. It, mm. it I, I, y'all, I can't. We are seeing them in concert in literally like two weeks. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I know they perform it because Great. I saw I saw a clip of them doing the Korean version, which I would assume in America they will do the English version. And I am not going to be okay. Oh dear. So there you go. That is my whole list. Amazing. My number one, the man of the hour. Oh, there we go again. Of course. Thinking about you by yep. Woods. Camera died. So sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the lyrics to that song, I wish it was written about me. Uh, that whole album um, is very written in a he fell in love with a foreigner type yeah. of lyrics and yeah. I am very jealous of yeah. said foreigner. Please let us know your top 21, your top 10. We're always very curious. We love seeing the lists. Also in the description there will be a Spotify link of all of these songs in a playlist so if you don't know any songs you can go and listen or listen to the full playlist because all the songs are fire. It was a great year of music. It was, it was an overwhelmingly great year of music. Had such a blast. Can't wait for another hopefully great year of music. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being excited for this video. Yep. These videos because you know these are fun for us to make even though it's stressful. It, yeah. Thank you guys. We will see you guys in our next video. Goodbye.